Hello everybody! Have you ever had uh, the frightening feeling that your website SSL certificate has expired? I'm sure a lot of people actually have gone through that. Uh, sometimes you do actually have some tools out there that you have to pay a subscription per year or per month to be able to get notified maybe 90 days, 30 days before an SSL certificate uh, get expired but it's always a bad feeling when uh, you get a call or an email from a friend saying hey your website is not working it's actually asking for a certificate and now you have to go struggle and go ahead to go daddy or something else to be able to get a certificate go ahead to the site purchase it and then download it and get it for is or apache and do all the stuff that you have to do to take care of the certificate while your site is pretty much as far as uh, chrome or other browsers is pretty much showing that it's down for HTTPS. So there is a feature actually in uh, in Azure that is part of the application insight that you can actually run a test and you can tell the system to be able to get back to you maybe 30, uh, uh, 90, 365 days before actually a certificate gets expired. And that can actually make it very easy to get these notifications. These notifications can be an email, could be an SMS message on your phone, could even be a web hook, maybe in Slack or Microsoft Teams to remind you, hey, your certificate is about to expire in 90 days. So I would like to show you in, uh, in this quick video how to create one of these things inside of Azure uh, very easily with the price is extremely cheap. It's pretty much a test. It's called a standard test and it costs somewhere about 0 0.0005 dollars per every test execution and you get to set how often you want to run the test as well so it's actually very price uh, prohibitive to do it any other way to be honest with you so let's go ahead and, and start doing that all right there it is i'm in my own uh, microsoft azure subscription right there i'm going to go ahead and create a brand new resource group uh, so you can keep it clean i'm going to use it in my own subscription and in here we'll say for instance ssl uh, monitoring monitoring all right all right you can call it whatever you want of course i'm going to put it in the east us here as i'm on the east coast we'll review and create and our resource group gets created right away excellent now when i go to my ssl monitoring i go ahead and create a resource and that resource you don't have to create a, a web app plan or a web application or anything like that just look for something called application insight we'll say application insight and hopefully we'll find one there it is application insights and that is the first one. I'm going to go ahead and create an instance of that. Sounds good. We're going to put it in the same resource group. We'll give it a name. We'll call it Lino Insights SSL. Okay. And we'll put it still in the US East. And uh, we'll use a resource mode for work, uh, workspace based. The classic is actually being retired next year. So you might as well not use it. Just go with the workspace based. The workspace details in here, I'm going to use the same subscription and that to get a log uh, analytics workspace location so that you can dump all the logs inside of there as well. And it will create one for you automatically if you don't have one. Great. I'm going to leave it at that. We'll say review and create. We'll click on create in here. All right. It's submitted for deployment. It might take a few seconds to make this happen. I'm going to stop the video and come back as soon as it's been done. Oh, <laughs> look at that. I didn't even have to wait. <laughs> it, it did it. We say go to the resource. And now I got my resource. It's inside of the resource group SSL monitoring. It's called Lino Inside SSL. Uh, great. So right now, the only thing left for me, you see that area here? Let me go ahead and put a red circle around it. It's called availability. This is where you want to go to set something like this up. So I'm going to click on availability in here. And I don't have any test available right now. So I'm going to create the first one. Notice there is an add classic test, which you can actually, we will probably create a video on that later on. But the one I'm interested about right now is the standard test. It used to be in preview, but now it's in uh, general availability, GA. So everybody can use it. I'm going to click add a standard test. And in the test in here, we'll call it, for instance, SSL expiration that's a good name will remind me of that is and then the url will be any website in the world it doesn't have to be even your own to be able to tell if it expired or not so i will use for instance something on my own website we'll say https slash slash and we'll say the training boss .com. okay and now do you want to parse dependent request and you can read the uh, the 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 little instructions in here when enable the test request images scripts style css and javascript files and so on that are part of the web page under test we are not going to use that for this test the one i'm interested in really is this one in here that says enable ssl certificate validity okay 
proactive lifetime check. This guy could be seven days, 30 days, 90 days, or 365 days. Let's leave it at seven days. I know that my SSL is good, so it will not actually send me any alerts. But later on, you can play around with it and set it to 365. Of course, because of my certificate is only one year, it will always fire if I say, make sure it's, uh, it's within 365. So it will always fail. So you can test this, that it's actually working. So I'm gonna say seven days. How frequent would you like to run the test? So unfortunately, we don't have a lot of choices in here. We have five, 10 or 15 minutes. I really honestly wish that this was a lot longer because I don't want to check on my SSL every 15 minutes. Even though it's very cheap, $0.0005 per actually test execution, I would have really liked to do it every maybe two or three hours or maybe once a day or once every week. I don't know. Uh, 15 minutes maybe is a little bit too much, but hopefully in the future that is a feature that will be added for that as well. So we'll use it for 15 minutes and then we get the test location. It could be East US, West US, uh, Midwest, Europe, Singapore, whatever you like. The recommendation here is to have between three and five locations. Don't actually make this only one location and turn everything off. So I'm going to leave it as West Europe, West US, South Central, East Asia, and Central US. Maybe I will add even the East US and remove East Asia from here. And I'll leave it like that. But three is the minimum. Five is the recommended way from Azure to do that. And then you will be able to see the standard test info or the, it's a getter. Okay. So we can actually set any headers that will need to be in there. I don't need to do any of that stuff, to be honest with you, to work with HTTPS to find out when it will expire, whatever. Right now, alerts are enabled. That means the log analytics workspace we created will be receiving some logs to be able to see into it. And we will see in a minute how to set the SMS or email or uh, webhook. Uh, later on how to do that but this is how easy it is to be able to check on the expiration of your ssl on any website so i'm going to say create the availability test is being created and it will be added here at the bottom for availability test so let's give it a second to finish and there it is the ssl expiration created i can of course uh, edit it if i would like to change anything in the time frame from 7 to 30 to 90 to 365 i can pause it if i if i know the site will be down for a while. There is no reason to spend money on running the test every 15 minutes. So I can pause it for whatever amount of time I want to. And also there is these three dots here on the side. This is an important piece. A lot of people miss these three dots. This is where I would be setting my alerts. Alrighty. So if I click on that, notice there is something here called open rules alerts page. Very important. Let's click on this guy. And now I can tell it to, what do I want to do when it hits. Right now I'm saying failed location is larger than or equal to two. That means if two of my five locations are saying that it expired, um, the, 300, the 365 days or the seven days you will be expired, it will trigger. So what do you want to do when it gets triggered? Right now it doesn't do anything. It just picks it up and puts it in the logs. You can actually go ahead and write a query to find out what's happening. And of course, I don't want to run queries. I want the system to tell me automatically. So I can click on that and you'll notice my uh, SSL expiration metric alert rule in here. I can actually now go ahead and uh, make changes to that specific rule to, to add an action group and tell it what to do when this happens. And the way to do that is to click on the edit button all the way at the top in here for that specific rule, we'll say edit. And there is multiple pieces that most of them have already been uh, filled in for you. There is the scope, okay. Uh, on the SSL monitoring resource group. There is the condition whenever the average failed location is greater than uh, or equal to two. And then there is the action group, which is empty. This is your part actually to be able to do that. So we'll say select an action group. We will create one. I don't have any, so I'm going to create a brand new action group. And the action group will also be created in my own subscription in the same resource group. We can make it global or we can make it in a specific region. I'm going to leave it global. We'll give it a name. We'll call it, for instance, SSL expiration alert okay and then the display name will be only 12 characters of whatever you created so maybe we'll say SSL expiration and we'll call it alert that's good enough for me all right and then of course you can see the other tab for the notification we'll say uh, what do you want to do when this happened uh, if I bring this down notice I can do an uh, email Azure resource manager role or email SMS push or voice I'll use the second one in here 
And on the side of the screen will tell you what do you, how do you want to be alerted. So I'm going to say email, for instance, and I'm going to go ahead and put my email address in here. SMS, maybe I'll put some numbers like uh, blah, 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 blah. That's my phone number. Okay, maybe it didn't like that. So we'll say 412, uh, 423, 123. Okay, good enough for me. There you go. Uh, I, even if I had a mobile app that's already been registered inside of Azure, I can do that. If I would like to get a phone call instead of a SMS, a lot of people don't do that, but you have that choice as well. Enable the common alert scheme. If you would like to make it no or yes, that's up to you. But this is more than enough for us to get this. I'm going to say OK there. And then from that point on, oh, don't forget to give it a name. We'll call it, for instance, SSL alert. Give it a name. OK. And that is the name is accepted. So right now, every time uh, it hits and our SSL certificate is about to expire within seven days, I'm going to get an email and I'm going to get an SMS message. So you can see all the ones that have been selected here already. Make sense? Let's go see the actions. Actions in here, you will be able to actually run an automate, uh, automation run book, an Azure function. You can make it as complicated as you want, even a logic app, which is very popular. Uh, in my case, I can say webhook, for instance, and I can go to Slack. In one of my channel, I can get the URL. I'll put the URL right in here uh, based on a specific channel. That means every time it, it hits, I will be able to get a Slack uh, message in my um, in my channel tell me hey your your uh, your ssl certificate for this website is about to expire in seven days so you can actually do that as well i'm going to leave it empty for right now i can add the tag i can do a review but let's go ahead and create this it will take only a few seconds to be able to uh, to create that specific action group and there we go right now this condition uh, the scope in this condition and this is the action that it will take and there is the full description and information about what this alert rule is all about does that make sense that's it i'm gonna say save and right now it's ready i mean i should be starting to get any um, sms message on my phone or an email whenever the SSL certificate is about to expire within seven days. You don't have to do anything else. And you can create as many of those as you want for all your websites that have an SSL certificate. Even for, for me, for instance, in my case, I have a lot of different customers. I can create the same exact thing for each and every single uh, HTTPS-based website that I'd like to monitor on behalf of my, uh, my customers as well and be able to send them a notification email or SMS, whatever, something like this happen. I mean, there is a lot of tools that will actually allow you to do that, but you'll have to pay for them as well, like uh, Uptime Robot or uh, Ping Dome, or there is a lot of them that they, they specialize in doing something like that. But like you can see, I can do all the stuff now inside of Azure um, very easily without actually creating or spending money on a web app service or a, a, a web app service plan or anything like that. This is just an application inside, which is free. You only pay for the execution of the test itself, in my case, every 15 minutes. Hopefully this was useful to you and you can see all the different things that you can actually do in application insight without actually having an application running inside of Azure itself. Thank you.